Well, class, does anybody know what causes a guy depression? Anybody? Anybody at all? Anybody at all? Jews. Very good. You may be seated, Miss Vatna. So, Mr. and Mrs. Heine took in a young boy before they were murdered. Did he have a twin sister? No, 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 sister. Would you like to come in for some strudel? No, thank you, ma'am. That is good strudel! I appreciate the offer, but I really must be going. You must have this strudel! It is the best strudel in the country! Strudel! You were asking about the boy. Why don't you come upstairs for some tea? You nips like tea, don't you? I taught him many things. English, drama, history, Greco-Roman wrestling. What was that? Nothing. I also used to regale him with stories of my days at Dachau, extracting gold and jewellery from the anal cavities of dead Jews. Good times. Good people. It sounded like he was rather excited by those tales. What do you mean? Well, there was this wet slapping sound, and a moment later my tea tasted all funny. You couldn't see what he was doing? Of course not. I'm blind. Blind? Yes. Visually impaired. My peepers no longer function. They are X-Eyes. Couldn't you tell? I thought you were a bloody doctor. I am! And I've got a piece of paper to prove it. In Braille? I'm not from Brazil. Anyways, just tell me one last thing. Did this boy have a twin sister? I don't know. I wouldn't be interested in things like that. Oh, wait a minute. Of course. He talked about her all the time. He really doted over that girl. He told me he was planning to reunite with her on their 20th birthday, and he would throw her a great party with balloons, clowns, cake, murder, rape, cannibalism, bestiality, necrophilia, and even a bouncy castle. Oh, honey, do we have to tell her she's not our real daughter? You're right, dear. Let us bake her a cake with the words you're adopted written on it. Then we'll sing songs about adoption. Then we'll make a watch that episode of Sesame Street. I'm home, biological mom and dad. Uh Huh? What is this for nonsense? Seriously, you'd think the series was made in another country or something. (coughs) Dr. Tenma, you've been looking through our archives for two whole days now. I haven't even seen you get up to take a leak. What's up with that? I'm very absorbent. Ah, here we are. 1986. Couple reports missing 11-year-old boy. Mr. and Mrs. Fortner of 17 Highbrow Street. His date of birth... is today. Well, we better get down there before we miss the party. Oh, it'll be a party, all right. A party... to die for. Will there be food? So, yeah... Anyway, I gotta go now. I'm seeing a stranger I met online a couple of days ago. No. No. Yeah. Maybe. Asian, be home later. Okay, sweetie, I love you. Honey, fetch the pitchforks! Sorry to bother you, sir. My name's Maurer. Heidelberg Post. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Could I get some of that cake? Like, a lot of it? Like, all of it? Honey, lock all the doors and windows! It's the infamous Heidelberg Cake Snatcher! Damn! How did you know? You've got us all wrong! We're here because of your daughter. Her brother disappeared nine years ago, not too long after you took them in. We think he's come back to abduct her. So you don't want our cake? We didn't say that. Uh, I guess Prince Charming isn't coming. I'd better get home and gorge my misery away. You cannot leave, Fraulein. I was told to keep you here. Who are you? I am the gardener! Anna! No, not Anna. I 
I'm the gardener! I will make a post out of you! Hiya! Quick, we need something to tie him up with. Hmm, tie him up, tie him up. Wait, maybe my tie would work. Now talk! Never! Well, you just did. We have to get back to your house quickly. The cake will be getting cold. I mean, your parents could be in terrible danger. Screw my parents. What's this about cake? Oh, Gardner, Gardner, Gardner. You have failed me for the first time, for the last time. And this shall be the final time that you fail me for the last time. Well, there's a first time for everything. In retrospect, it probably wasn't a good idea to leave you guys alone here. Sorry about that. W wait. Where's the cake? WHERE'S THE FUCKING CAKE?! I remember now. I remember everything. I remember... Poop Ant. I shot my brother. We have to get out of here before he comes back for you. Are you okay in there? We're the police. I'm Johnson, and this is Detective Johnson. No relation, except to each other. Mind if we take a look around? Whoa, what a mess. Yeah, we better get you two out of here before the real police, I mean, backup arrives. So, are you the daughter of the victims? I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Excuse me, officer, but the Heidelberg police station is in the other direction. Sorry, our sat-nav is broken. So, why aren't we turning around? I am very stubborn. I have a bad feeling about this. Excuse me, what's that on your coat? A button. What, do coats not have buttons in Ching Chong land? Oh, that. Um, I spilled my fruit punch earlier. <laughs> the wife's gonna give me hell for that. I didn't know you had a wife. Shut up. What's she like? Is she nice? I swear I'm gonna kill you. What's her name? Um, Alice. But... That's my wife's name. You son of a bitch! We're gonna settle this. Quick, Anita! Now's our chance! <laughs> Why did you save him? He's taken everyone I ever loved away from me! Why? Oh, I don't know, because refusing to treat a 10-year-old boy on the off chance of him being a murderous psychopath isn't really the most productive attitude. The marks on the gardener's wrists indicate that he was untied by the time the police arrived. Could be poison ivy. Better not risk it. That film was awful. Now, what do you use to tie someone up? A tie. Nah, that's a stupid idea. Nina! I think it's time we went to the proper authorities. Dear Dr. Tenma, you ruined my fucking life. One of these sandwiches is poisoned. I took a shit in the other. Game on, motherfucker. Now I'm gonna find my brother and pop a cap in his ass. Love and kisses, Nina. Well, at least it wasn't poisoned. Cast! 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 Wait. What's that smell? I know it in shit. Oh, fuck this. You've got enough problems, man. I'm out of here. 